Defenders didn't want to see squeeze into the top six, it was Adelaide. Would their extraordinary run to the finals, winning 10 of their last 12, intimidate Sydney Olympic? Branko Cellina's boys had home ground advantage in the first leg to help them overcome that hurdle. Joining me at Belmore, Alan Hunter and Rob Wheatley. The teams are ready. Eddie Lenny has them just about set. You can see uh, the pitch is in good order too. Pablo Cardozo, top goal scorer last year and has come in just three behind Damian Murray this year. Murray on 22, Cardozo 19. And uh, Eddie Lenny, I'm sure both teams will be pleased that got one of our best referees in charge today. Congratulations to the ground staff at Belmore. They've got the pitch in top order. And we're underway. And of course, it's Adelaide in the black and white, Olympic in the blue. And they're a winner piece over each other this year. Both scores 2 0. They both won at home. So they come in all square on that count. But on form, as Murray looks to get a taste early. And. Uh, a look at the Olympic formation, Alan. Well, the two Scots have got an important marking role. Scott Thomas on Murray, and Scott Bailey has got the other job. But certainly out wide, it's a big battle. Emerton will have to perform well. He's an important cog out there. And Olympic will look early to try and use Marisic and Mendes because they can really distribute and create. Adelaide, on the other hand, a ton of experience. Alex Tobin, he's played in more finals than just about everyone. Murray, we've already spoken about him, but Pelosi is a quiet achiever. He works so hard and really has improved with every game since he's been here in Australia. Vidmar, how can we forget him? What a creative player he has been. And Adelaide absolutely uh, delighted to have Costanzo back. They were a little bit worried going into their last match last week, expecting that they may have to win to make the semis as uh, Franco Cellino looks on. So important for the home team today, Olympic, to try and get a result. You just feel the way Adelaide are playing at home, Marsh, that they'll be very hard to beat. Murray. And gets the corner. Scott Thomas uh, left with little option. And Zoran Matic, that a bottle of water is never far away. What an achievement for Zoran. Uh, in charge of Adelaide with their three premiership years. Another corner. And this time off uh, Uric. And Tobin has played in 37 finals games. Near post. <laughs> Attempt to flick on from uh, Vidmar around his back. Well, at first glance, I actually thought that that took a deflection for a corner, but there was no protest, which is fine. But Vidmar really has hit form at the important part of the year. Some may forget about his creativity and his ability to score important goals. He certainly has done that this year for Adelaide City, enabling them to once again make the finals. John Perosh came across to Olympic from Northern Spirit this year. Pelosi... Fidmar gets a neat one-two going with Savilyak. Fidmar looks up, and a lot of blue defence there, but Savilyak, oh my word, did he hit that? That was travelling. That one's got a lot of pace on it. The cross was dangerous because it had pace, and it bounced in front of the defence. Two of them really couldn't clear that well at all, but gee, he absolutely drilled that one. Just couldn't keep it under the crossbar, but if he did, there wouldn't have been many goalies that would have stopped it. Would have carried Perosh back into the goal with him. They just look sharp once again, Sabiak there, Steve, enabling to get the, the first tackle in. He's done well to tackle Mendes so cleanly. Thomas. Mr. Urich. Hardly had a sniff yet, Olympic. Now they do. Across to Emerton. 
Katsoulis gets around one and is hoping for a corner. Well, he was hoping for a corner. They had the opportunity there first with Mendes, I thought, and then with Emerton to deliver the ball. And that just shows that they're not quite as comfortable early in this game, Steve, as are Adelaide City. So Adrian Kagalj. Sabliak, back header. Kent to Murray. Pelosi uh, giving a, a bit of a cheap possession away, our Olympic. Rob Wheatley, how much are you feeling that breeze down there? It's sort of been a bit gusty, hasn't it? It has. It's uh, appearing every once in a while, Steve. And I think uh, at this stage, even that particular foul, uh, as you were referring to, they're all seeming to go uh, the forces way. But in uh, summary, really, that breeze not affecting the game. It's just slightly in Adelaide City's favour. So Olympic up towards halfway through Katsoulis. Marisic. Oh, that's a risky backheader. And they're taking some time clearing this. Soren Matic will be shaking his head on the bench. Marisic down. Costanzo. A clearance that makes its way as far as Hassel, who's uh, Hassel to the ground by Bailey. Well, he milks those free kicks quite well, Pelosi. He let the ball bounce twice there. And on the second occasion, Bailey just a little bit too much. Murray. Sabliak. Cleared off the line. Well, Perosh did well the second time. And the fast break on for Cardozo. Spots Emerton. Well, action at both ends. Well, there he is, the danger man, Murray. I don't know whether he's thinking about trying to get that on target. I believe he was looking for the player at the far post. But a good second save there. And immediately the counter-attack. Olympic, beautiful delivery there for Emerton, but never really looked like getting that one on target. <laughs> Zoran Matic. Giving our cameraman a bit of a glare, possibly. <laughs> Cola looking for Gonzalez. Did well to keep it uh, low and on the deck, but the uh, goals again untroubled. Oh, Pelosi. Ambitious. Perhaps trying to catch Perosh unawares. Perosh probably awake against Adelaide City more than any other club. Uh, with uh, Damien Murray some years back scoring that uh, record goal in the first few seconds. But Emerton, side nearly all, oh, might even have been off the upright. And Brago Cellina throws his head back. It was mighty close. Well, Kagal's ended there with a wink, but look at the pace and the skill. He's just waltzed past Alex Tobin and company like they weren't there. Much better effort than the first one. Just look at the pace and the acceleration. Good left and right dribbling exchange there. And Kagals in the end was quite happy that it just sneaked past his near post. Oh, I think it glanced it, didn't it? No contact with the side netting, so it certainly just uh, caught a bit of the post. Yes, Steve, inches in that uh, from ground level down here. Murray! Oh, my word! Sorry, Rob, that's happening at both ends so quickly. And that's what Murray is so renowned at doing well. Getting the ball early out in front and having a go. And if they're on target, Olympic are really going to be in trouble. They're just giving him too much space. Katsoulis. Sabaliak closes in, forces him to get rid of it. Back heel was... Not a good run from Everton. Pelosi again the target. Uh, he's only found Thomas. A little bit of time for him in midfield. As uh, Adelaide reshape. 
Very good goal difference for Adelaide. Plus 20. Marisic. Cardozo. Can't get a chance. Not to, with Legati there. The Italian defender doing a good job. Juric. Now Perosh. Can't pick that one up. Emerton. Marisic once more. Question marks about his fitness, but he's uh, playing like he's 100%. Katsoulis. Tobin was with Mendes. Katsoulis again. Emerton. Thank you. What a finish. Might well have been given a penalty if he hadn't finished it that well. He certainly held back as he received it. And after a touch over 20 minutes, Olympic hit the lead. And Brad Emerton gets his eighth of the season. Well, you can put that one down to the quality of the cross. The rotated player on the right flank there, Gazoulas, delivers it to the player that's probably spent a lot of time on that right flank. And he certainly was fouled earlier, but he made amends. His third shot towards goal is certainly the best of the three. Beautiful ball, and it had to be. His first touch was good as well. Got it down off the knee, fell nicely and drilled it. 1-0, and the fans have really got something to cheer about. Delivery was so important. He was tenacious enough to just fend off that initial challenge and drill it home. And now, happy are they. The fans have now got something to get excited about, Steve. Good refereeing from Eddie Lenny playing on there. There's certainly a handful of Emerton's shirt taken. He was strong enough to burst through that and give it a good finish. So, Olympic probably haven't had uh, the better of the match up until now, but they've got the better of the scoreboard. And here they come once more. Mendes. Stanzo interrupts. Cole back to Juric. Suddenly looking a lot more confident as Emerton is there again. Costanzo's lost his footing. Emerton gets a second or two more time. Looking for Cardozo. Oh, nice touch from Pablo. Wilson plays it back in. And Mendes again. He was caught on the wrong side of the ball. Gee, they're looking likely all of a sudden. Katsoulis. Bailey. Sorry, Thomas it was back in. And Costanzo with an urgent clearance. Now Tobin. Look to settle things down. Well, they desperately need to get possession now, Adelaide City, don't they? Now, the last five games for Olympic, two wins, two draws and a loss. Doesn't stack up against the five wins by Adelaide. Now Marisic. Kemp. And Vidmar. Mori. Cole tried to stick with him. Tobin looks for a receiver, but he's given it straight to Cardozo. Might pay for that. Thomas well spotted. Mendes with him. And Adelaide forcing Olympic away from goal. Katsoulis once more. Marisic. And a shot again from Emerton. And a good take from Kagaj. He was uh, oh, seven or eight yards off his line. Well, someone's got to nail Emerton because he's just creating too much space and opportunity for himself and his teammates. Lovely delivery again from the master there, Marisic. Does well, but Kigals was well positioned on that occasion. Lagarde allowed to drift forward. And Murray points to his feet and say, says, that's where I wanted it. A sign of frustration within the, uh, the force team. Something they've not sensed too much of in the last few months. Oh, 
So it goes all the way back to Bailey. The two uh, former players of the year out there, and Damian Mori and Kresimir Marisic. Mendes plays it nicely to the path of Wilson. And he's given the penalty. Wilson into the box and in the eyes of Eddie Lenny well this will be worth another look the Olympic fans are very happy they can sense 2-0 well they've got a hard job they only get one chance to make a decision the referees I wasn't too sure at first glance beautiful ball again the layoff was particularly brilliant there's no doubt there's a bit of a challenge there but whether it's a penalty or not I don't really believe so Hassel, the unlucky defender on that occasion. And uh, Pablo Cardozo doesn't miss many. And doesn't miss today. 2-0 Olympic. But it doesn't matter, does it? The referee's made the decision. And Pablo Cardozo has finished it in style, as you'd expect. And that'll help his confidence in the final series if they're to progress. Now, Everton is looking for this ball, but uh, goes wider. It was Marisic who went on the initial run. But, uh, Marisic didn't have eyes for Emerton. Had a bit of space to work with. And Bailey claims the throw in, won't get it. Nice foul by Bailey. Bit of a shirt tugging. Urich. Sabuliak, Fidmar. Kent has the ball taken away from him. But it comes in very kindly for Murray. And he's put it to uh, half a metre over the bar. Talk to each other, says Perosh. That was a disastrous bit of defence. Beautiful dummy there. Obviously a great call from Murray to leave that one. So important for Adelaide that they can get a goal back away from home. Especially before half time, they can get themselves right back in this game. An away goal is so important. 13 uh, shots at goal thus far in the match. Two goals to Olympic. Mendes. Tobin out quickly. Vidmar. Sabliak. Well, I think this uh, performance by Olympic will have surprised many. As we mentioned, they certainly didn't have the form coming into the finals that uh, Adelaide were showing. Emerton hoping for a mistake, and there, there is one. Emerton. Oh. Cardozo. Oh, and he puts it straight at Kagals. Suddenly, the Adelaide defence looking flustered. Yeah, beautiful layoff. Possibly thought about hitting that one first time, Cardozo. In the end, no real problem for the goalkeeper. But Kagawa's released that one in an awkward position and Olympic are up again. Stanzo has it this time. But he and Lagarde weren't uh, thinking along the same wavelength a moment ago. Cardozo. And Pelosi's not getting much change in the last 15 minutes, is he, Steve? Just can't keep possession. Cardozo tries the left foot. Nice work with Mendes led to that opportunity. Oh, Mendes. Lovely touch on for Thomas. Who now has Vidmar to get past. Sabaliak there, too. He's kept possession well. It's a Kagalj. They're playing beautiful football. Sydney Olympic. Wilson. Wilson. 
trying to chip the keeper. Good thought, too, because he was eight or nine yards off his line was Kagalj. Well, Adrian almost invited Wilson to chip him there, and he did. On the unfavoured left foot, he had a go at it, and Kagalj, fortunately, was aware that he was shaping up for the chip. Well, Zoran Matic, I suppose with this uh, great run of Adelaide's, they're always closer to their next loss. Pelosi, that's certainly what Olympic would have been telling themselves anyway. And Franco Cellino says he wasn't uh, worried by this great run in form of uh, Adelaide. He said he'd be pleased with uh, what looks like will be the half time score. Cardozo. Costanzo puts one forward in hope. Good desperation from Tobin. Cola to Thomas. Marisic and Bidmar. And an early ball for Murray. Ah, uh, but he's offside. Well, it was such a tight call, that one, I've got to say. Very di difficult to make a decision on there. The assistant, Alex Borowski, on the far side obviously saw that Murray was on the other side as that ball was delivered, remember? Wow. Can't tell. It's a very tight one, Steve. It's a little bit of chat going on in the midfield there. There's a little foul on Mendes earlier as well. Well, this shapes as a very difficult game now for Adelaide, who score so many of their goals on the counter-attack. There's no urgent need for Olympic to push forward and risk being counter-attacked. Two goals in the bank. Olympic not short of motivation coming into this match. Those with a, a memory for last season will recall that in the very last round, Adelaide scored what was a controversial win over Olympic at Hindmarsh. A header from uh, Tobin, I think it was, in the last few minutes. It uh, allowed Adelaide to squeak into the finals at Olympic's expense. Sabuliak can't uh, work the one-two with Vidmar, has to go back to Veer. Gardi puts it in. And safely taken by Perosh. And he safely finds Katsoulis. Cardozo and uh, Kagals gets there first. And not giving Olympic a chance to get onto that with uh, Kagals so far out of his area. So expecting about two minutes of stoppage time to be played here first half Wilson Laurie helping out in defense but Wilson comes again and Costanzo if there's any doubt about it uh, being a corner he wasn't risking it Urich. I think the crowd here at Belmore will give uh, Olympic a big hand as they go to the sheds at half time, which has arrived now. Oh, these fans are delighted with what they've seen in the first half. Early pressure, good early pressure from Adelaide was withstood. And Azura Maddox will have plenty to say at half time. But uh, Olympic really stepping up a level with goals to Emerton and Cardozo. Emerton in the 21st minute, a penalty taken by Cardozo. Um, uh, 13 minutes later, and a very good first half for the home side. And Olympic now travelling right to left. And uh, Kohler getting an early touch in the second half, and Wilson. Can he get to this first? He can, and he's got a fortunate bounce to allow him to travel on. Emerton! Emerton! Yes! Oh, my word! 
18 seconds into the second half, 3-0, Everton gets his second. Oh, is this a very quick exit for Adelaide City? It's a very quick goal. A beautiful opening. Well, questions have got to be asked about the tackle here because Wilson should never have won that ball and gone on with it. He's done so very well. He waited and waited, and Everton made the beautiful run as he does. And I've got to say, I thought he'd messed it up and gone too far and not taken the shot early. But he proved me wrong because it's a beautiful finish. His second, Olympics third. Adelaide City have got a mountain to climb, but dare I say it, a few years ago in the finals, they were in a similar position, if not worse, at Marconi, and they climbed that mountain. So anything's possible. So both Wilson and Emerton having wonderful matches here. As <laughs> Emerton delights in his second goal, his ninth of the season, and two in a finals match that uh, underlines his pedigree. And Zorin Matic didn't look very happy at all, to put it mildly. Long time since uh, Adelaide have conceded three. And uh, we'll have to settle into this. Sabaljak. Even if uh, Adelaide can't win this match, if they were to pinch a, a couple of away goals, that must be their aim now. Viet. Viet. Viet! Oh, yes, it's there! Carl Viet! In off the post. No chance for Perosh. That took the perfect path, and that's the quick answer Adelaide City so badly needed. And Carl Viet supplies it. Well, Steve, we're a billion. You're psychic. <laughs> well, it's only his second goal. Number eight, Carl. And there is a lone Adelaide City Force supporter predicting as you did an away goal. Two goals in a couple of minutes. And what a goal. That's probably the individual goal of the game so far. He just took everyone on there and drilled it in off the post. Peros shook his head because he had no chance. Watch out there. They might get another. Oh, no, Sabaljak dispossessed on the edge of the box. Let's have another look at uh, this marvellous effort from Viet. And the cannons in off that uh, post. So Viet has given Adelaide City hope. Well, at this stage, it means a 2-0 result for Adelaide at home on Friday night would see them through because of the away goal rule. And that is the beauty and the importance of scoring a goal or two away from home. Murray heading on, look, hoping for Pelosi, but uh, Bailey skies one out of view. <laughs> well, Rob Whitney, have you got your breath yet? <laughs> well... Steve, I was just about to come in with some uh, updates, and I'm sure that both of those uh, updates have been changed dramatically by uh, both those uh, goals in the uh, early part of the second half, but really for Adelaide City, uh, it was an important one. And an offside. Well, <laughs> I, I just said, uh, we're never sure now, Steve, with things happening, but uh, just with that, he was uh, claiming many of his players were guilty of ball watching in midfield. Well, they were ball watching there, Rob, because the ball came in again and you've got two Olympic players and fortunately, Pelosi has just drifted into an offside position. Costanzo sends it back. Cardozo trying to get it onto Marisic. Defenders arrive. Emerton got a lot to do. The pace of Emerton. He's quick. Pelosi. Oh, beautiful. Little back heel for Kemp. Now Sabaljak. Sabaljak. Turns it back in. Sabaljak. Oh, gee, that was a lovely build-up by uh, Adelaide City Force. But for no reward. Absolutely dissected the Olympic defence. Well, you've got to be very disappointed as a professional player to not keep those ones down the technique on three maybe four occasions now this time it's Savoyak just not good enough did so well to get in a great position cut back inside but didn't drill that one low enough 
Wilson. Hassel. And there is Kohler. <laughs> Hassel comes again. I think it's one of the more skillful games we've uh, been fortunate to observe this season, Alan. That, and again, we come back to the condition of the pitch. Really allows the players to showcase what they've got. And uh, also seen a lot of good, clean tackles today. Only the one yellow card. And that's, uh, again, a, a tribute to Eddie Lenny's uh, refereeing, his control, and the players' respect for him. The stands out. Works it up to Viet. Steve, you may be surprised. We're only at 10 minutes in the second half, but uh, certainly a very significant move here. There'll be a change, it looks like. Uh, I'm hearing down here that uh, Gutzioulis will come off and uh, the captain who uh, has been out of action for some time, Peter Sakinis, he'll be back in, probably to provide that stabilising influence. Cam. Thanks, Rob. Legati, a uh, little rebound for Emerton, but Tobin has it. And Murray's offside. You're having offside nightmares, I think, Damien Murray. Eleven minutes gone in the second half, and the substitution to occur, as uh, hinted by Rob Wheatley. On comes Sikenis, and the former South Melbourne player George Katsoulis gets the early rest. So Peter Sikenis uh, being asked to take off uh, that necklace, and very strict on what uh, jewellery can be worn. He should have known that uh, before coming on. I guess that's just a little lace one he's still got around his neck, but uh, no uh, metal jewellery should be worn around the neck. And that'll see Scotty Thomas slot into that right flank roll. So can us take a more central roll. Vidmar. Pelosi, Vidmar, and Sabliak checks his space. He's got a bit to work with. So is Viet. Viet, Lagardi outside him, Lagardi. Oh, players screaming for it, uh, squarer of him. Uh, the defender sensed a moment of glory and uh, he might like to have another look at Lovely this. Lovely ball, good timing there from the ball and the run from Lagardi. And how important was the sliding challenge there or attempted challenge from Juric because Lagardi certainly looked to drill that one on target and I believe that Juric made the difference there. And Pelosi up to the other side of 30 but she's still fast. Too quick for Bailey that time. Needs some help. Oh, he gives that up, and Bailey's persistence is rewarded. Now they've got some uh, blue shirts coming forward here. Bailey's away from one. Change the direction of the attack. Here's Cardozo. Has kept it in? No, he hasn't. It just drifted over the byline, and he didn't quite get the ball he wanted. Well, that was a disappointing end to a beautiful build-up there from Olympic. He put that one down to Pelosi, he just wasn't persistent enough, dwelled on the ball. Scott Bailey, beautiful run, little nutmeg, set that one up, but unfortunately that ball was just a little bit too difficult for both Emerton and Cardozo, not happy. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, looking like a terrific breakout opportunity for Olympic. I think Rob Whitley, keep your eye on Nathan Day on the bench. Well, it's surprisingly, I know uh, force players have really taken uh, to getting themselves ready. It's not uh, warm as we know, and they should have. Saboyak, Murray. Oh, one-handed effort from Perosh. <laughs> oh, how careers can turn around, Perosh. That's a lovely little layoff, isn't it, from Saboyak? Important. Murray didn't get a good strike on it at all. But it was really difficult to get a good save on it, but he did. The left hand was so important. So Cartwright. Quick words of advice uh, from the wise man. 
skipper off. And uh, on comes Ian Cartwright. 20 years old. Thomas fouled. Well, there you go. Have a cold soul. Nowhere near the groin. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to put some passes together. Adelaide here, Mori. Viet and Mendez collide and go to the deck. And Mori's fouled by Cola. And Mori hasn't got much out of Cola. And uh, but this time, a yellow. Just a little bit too much experience there. He waited and weaved and made the opportunity happen. And as I said earlier, those yellow cards can hurt if Olympic continue through the final series. So Mendes and Cola, yellow cards. None for the visitors yet. Murray. And again, they can't keep it down. Kemp. Puts it through the grandstand behind that goal and it's out on the railway line. They won't get that one back. Well, it's deja vu, isn't it? We've seen it too many times. They get in great position. Lots of numbers in the box. And that's disappointing. The players know that. Juric. East Adelaide, they're starting to uh, come back into the match. Well, Vitmar's played that through, hoping for Pelosi, but Cola did enough to shepherd his man away from it. They're not over with it, Adelaide City, you can be sure of that. Now Cardozo. Might take them on. Offside, Edmonton. Gee, is that their first offside of the match? It, it is. could be, you know. <laughs> I think it is. It's a pretty good effort after 73 minutes. Seven against Adelaide, one oh! Olympic. <laughs> Kohler and Murray. Pelosi! just can't keep that ball down today and this match is rich with attempts good challenge wasn't it for Murray it set it up for the early turn and shot from Pelosi but we haven't seen enough of it from him I've, I've got to say that a lot of football to be played it certainly has been a great game so far today it Ma knocks one down towards Sabaliak Juric great commitment but breaks for Adelaide again Viet it's had a strong game and delivers well to Kemp but Sakenis arrived at his shoulder Murray and a corner off Kohler oh that's an important touch there from the youngster Kohler Champagne football there from Adelaide City, and there's the man that scored so many goals this season, not to mention previous. Hassel took the corner. Uh, Ligardi will have another go. Hassel. Top of the box. Kemp. He'll do well to get round Emerton. But he's done that. Kemp. Ligardi. Got to play it back to Hassel, who can pop it in now, but again. Here's the opportunity for the breakout. Cardozo. And he's got Mendes with him. Cardozo. And it's Sabaliak. There's some tired players out there now, Alan. <laughs> Bit mark. Thomas was quickly around. And now Bailey on to Mendes. Emerton. 
Emerton, a great run. Is this a hat trick for Emerton? Not quite. Kigals did enough to stop it uh, drifting over the, the goal line. Oh, Emerton looked to have number three in the bag there. But here's a chance for Adelaide. Saddleyak. Saddleyak. Maurice far post. And Kohler will be first to it. Oh, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Players having trouble just getting back to normal position. Viet. Play on. No foul on the keeper. But uh, Olympic will be all right as uh, Wilson gets it on to Cardozo. And the foot came up and he got big mark. And Steve, just quickly, there are so many moments to remember from this game, but uh, we'll see a substitute come in here also late in the game for Olympic. There's no doubt the foot was high there from Cardozo. But how important was that save, the right-handed save from Cagalls? So, Wilson came to Olympic from uh, Canberra, of course. 21 and big reps on this young player but he needs to be substituted that's the signal from the medical staff Wilson has done his dash but it was a fair dash so Peter Zorbis 21 years old today Peter Zorbis joins the game Have to give himself a birthday present in the next eight minutes played in by Hassel not far enough he might get another go on board number 15, Lindsay Wilson. Bidmar. Oh, gee, that uh, gave Eddie Lenny pause for thought. He's already given one penalty today, and it was at that end. In almost the identical position, I must say. The second ball was good. Well... <laughs> didn't look any... Uh, more severe than the one that he did allow for Wilson but it's very hard from this distance on that angle to, to measure the extent of the contact or the obstruction if there was any and a brave man to call one at this time of the game oh what a tackle Costanzo hasn't he had a good game he's read the play so well there and some of his tackling has been absolute copybook stuff Kohler at the second attempt finds Thomas Mendes is in some space but the players are so tired, they can hardly keep the legs pumping. Cardozo, no. As Kigalj tries to get to Adelaide going forward again. Pelosi. Vidmar. Can his experience make the difference? Sabliak, oh, and again he can't keep it down. But again, a challenge was there. And it was Urich who and made it difficult for Sabliak. Well, he's got to go shooting practice, Sabliak. I'm sorry to say, that's three fantastic opportunities. That's probably the best of his three anyway. Sabliak with three goals this season, could have had three more today. As Marisic leaves the game, and on comes uh, Zlatko and Basic. Marisic has played well. He too was doubtful with a with a hamstring injury. Just a few minutes left for Adelaide to try and get a precious second. Flat across to Lagardi. Doesn't muck around with the cross. Emerton still full of running. Emerton. Emerton. Check by Costanzo. Eddie Lenny ruling. It'll be a yellow card, I'd say, for sure. It's a red. He's only just come back from suspension. And yeah. Angelo Costanzo has been set off. Well, you've got to feel for him a little bit in that position. Uh, uh, well, 
Cardozo gives him a consoling pat. He can't, can't believe it. There's no doubt it was a foul, but the question is whether he was the last defender, the very last defender. There's plenty of them there trying to get a leg in on Everton. He just checks ever so slightly, but if you look at Lagarde there, I feel that he's probably in a position to cover Xavier. And certainly Costanzo there has made the foul. And that will be a very, very hard one now for Adelaide City without him on Friday night. And for the last few minutes. So Adelaide City down to 10 men, as Marconi were yesterday, although much earlier in the second half, when Mark Babbage was sent off. Now Olympic surely will take a 3-1 victory out of this. Bailey heaves it back up towards Aaron Bazic. Carl Beard looks to be limping as well in the midfield, Steve. Emerton. Aaron Bazic wants it. So does uh, Emerton. He wants it back. He's got it. A little chip in, but uh, Lagarde was there. Mendes pops it over. Oh, they're lining up for this. Cardozo! the fourth in the 89th minute oh, Olympic they might be on their way a 10-man Adelaide City can't hold them out and that was the key only 10 men no sweeper look at the skill here the vision of Mendes he sees Everton who has been brilliant today and they don't miss those although Adelaide City certainly have missed a couple today but look at the vision of the wizard. Just loops that one over the Adelaide City defensive line. And there's not only one player to finish, but there's two. They were queuing up there. The skill's brilliant. And so's the finish, and don't they deserve it? Well, I think uh, what we can take out of today, as Pelosi tries to get past Thomas, is that Olympic are back to the form they were mid-season when they were topping the table. And I'll tell you what, if uh, other teams are worried about Adelaide City making the top six, they should now be worried about Olympic on this form. Thomas. And they can take their time, Olympic. Everton, a hero today. He's created, hasn't he, a lot of chances today, Everton, but he's also finished. And that's been the difference. The fact that his pace has been able to run at the heart of the Adelaide City defence rather than the flanks has been important as well. Uh, the singing is starting around uh, Belmore. A very happy crowd on Mother's Day from Olympic. Adelaide, Mendes, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry Steve. <laughs> Rob Whitley, Adelaide City fans will remember a few years ago when they were down 3 or 4-0 in the first leg after Marconi and came back. Wait a moment. They're not done yet. Oh, Aaron Bassett was offside. A lovely run from Mendes. Aaron Bassett not to join Cardozo and Emerton on the score sheet. Good build-up again. You'd nearly say a traditional build-up because it's Mendes. It was 2-0 uh, at half-time to Olympic. Goals to uh, Emerton and Cardozo. Cardozo, a penalty in the 34th minute, and Emerton scoring about uh, earlier in the half. And then the live wire start to the second half. It's two goals in the opening two minutes of the second half and Adelaide thought they were a chance at 3-1 but a fourth goal with Adelaide down to 10 men and a 4-1 scoreline with Emerton and Cardozo both scoring twice Carl Viet the solitary goal for Adelaide and that's quite a lead for Olympic to take to Adelaide Franco Kalina, straight after the match, a near-perfect display for your side tonight. Yeah, we spoiled it by conceding that uh, goal straight after we scored the third, but yeah, overall, um, yeah, I was quite pleased.
slight hiccup when it was uh, a reply goal by Adelaide City early in that second half. Did you have worries then? No, uh, well, I always thought we were on top of them. However, you thought, well, they scored one. If they score another one, really, that's what they're looking for. So, yeah, I was a little bit concerned with that. 32 shots in the match and uh, four goals uh, for your side. You must have been happy with that goal-scoring form. Yeah, I think we need a little bit more shooting practice uh, just to make sure that ratio is a little bit better. But yeah, overall quite pleased. And uh, But having said that, Adelaide had a few opportunities as well. But uh, a 4-1 uh, result, I'm quite pleased with the players. Tac did tactically outplay tonight uh, your side, Branko. You seem to dominate midfield very well with uh, Adelaide City coming in with a very strong reputation. Yeah, I've always said that the finals is a different ball game where uh, not only ability but tactical uh, awareness uh, comes into it. And I thought our boys handled it very, very well tonight. Emerton was breaking through. He certainly did uh, make himself felt. Well, what about Kresimir Maristic? Your summary of his performance? Yeah, I thought that was the best performance uh, since he's joined us. He's had a lot Thank of injury opinions. problems, but tonight he showed that he's a quality player. Branko, five days till the next match, four yellow cards tonight. What about uh, Hindmarsh Stadium Friday night? Yeah, it's a different ball game. Obviously, Adelaide will come out at us, uh, nothing to lose, so we've got to be prepared. 4-1 is one of those tricky results where you think you're there, but you're not quite, so we've got to be very careful. And you've still got some uh, high-quality players to bring back in the side? Yeah, unfortunately, we've got a couple that uh, are missing uh, and could be missing, so it's good to know that you've got a couple of quality players waiting by. But quietly confident for that game? Yeah, I think so.